Hi Libra, welcome to your What They Can't Get Over reading for February 2020. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as well as the Recommend a Reader shout out which goes to Love and Abundance Tarot. Love and support to him. Check him out. Show him some love and support. This is intended to be a romantic love reading but it may resonate in other areas of your life. Alright Libra, what do we got here? What's going on with Libra? What they can't get over for Libra. How are you doing? Four of coins? No, that's a six of coins. There it is, six of coins. Hermit, that could be Virgo. The tower, that could be Scorpio. Ooh, the moon, Pisces or Cancerian. King of Wands, Sagittarius. The chariot, why not? Because we got one, two, three, four out of Six, Major Arcana, Cancer, Cancerian, Eight of Cups, Justice, that could be Libra. All right, Libra. What do we got here? It goes over there. Hmm. You're waiting. Okay. Gonna wait some more. What are you waiting for? What's this moon about? Things aren't changing though like you hoped they would. What's this moon about? The Libra, what's this moon about? Who are your puppies? What's this moon about? Strength, that could be Leo. This king of wands. Four of cups. Okay, but why? Like what? There's the waiting again. King of wands waiting on it. Okay, somebody to make a decision. This is chariot for Libra. Whoopsie. The, what worries me is I think they led you to believe that just wait, hold on, just wait, but they're not in any hurry to make the thing happen. Oh, well, I got the chariot here, but I don't, what's this chariot about? A hermit, see? They're not in any hurry to make stuff happen. What's this eight of cups about? Libra, Libra. Okay, so. This feels like somebody's going to keep things on their terms. Because they don't trust you? Is that what this is? They don't trust you. Things aren't, like, there's, there's, they don't trust. So they're going to be kind of holding out. There's, they either don't trust you or this is a situation that is um, kind of under the radar, like on the down low, it's not out in the open yet. This is just serving a certain purpose, but there's not anything else kind of grounding or stable about this connection, meaning you're just meeting for physical stuff, but there's not the other stuff to, okay, what's this justice about? Death, that could be Scorpio. So, I think this is someone that's trying they aren't able to but they want to disconnect but they can't is it disconnect from you or is it disconnect from another relationship to be with you if you're waiting you're going to be waiting a lot longer than you thought you would be to hear from this person What's this hermit about? There's just, look at justice, justice. We got Libra like throughout here. What's this tower about? Lovers. 
this is someone that doesn't, I, I feel like they don't know what to do. And this is someone that's kind of used to thinking of themselves first, not in a bad way. They just haven't had anything really pressing in a long time. And it's, it's kind of strange. It feels like even though you might have been with them, there's still this part of them that you don't know about. They're, they're still kind of unreachable or on, you don't know this part of them. But okay, so this is someone that is not in any hurry to figure things out. They kind of like the gray area and it, there's something that is not, hmm. I think rather than sort through everything, they just want to be clear headed about this and be done with it. I, I think they just want to, I think they want to want to solve this. I think they want to want to be able to make some decisions, but they just aren't. Either they're uncomfortable with ending their marriage or ending your marriage or ending your connection or ending their connection. I don't know if the connection's with you or with someone else, but there's something, it feels like this is an affair. It feels like this is, you're with somebody um, that is got one foot with someone and got one foot with you. And they think about you, but they're with their person. This is somebody that doesn't, they, they want to feel better or feel right or for, feel more decisive or clear headed about making a decision, a final decision, but Instead, they're just kind of hanging out in the gray area of the in-betweens and the I don't knows and thinking about things and what, I mean, this is thinking about stuff. And are they, is this someone that wants you to, to make the decision to kind of tell them what to do or how to do it? Because then they, they can, I mean, blame you? Like I, Gemini, Taurus, or Libra right here. I forgot to mention that. I don't know what, why this is someone, I mean, this four of cups is jumping out at me here. This is someone that doesn't want to make a decision that does, may, that might not know what to do. I got two, got seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, nine. So all right, so some did somebody find something out? Did they, is this, is this somebody, oh. Did you offer, is there, what's with the offer? What's with the offer? Why, why do I get an offer here? How's for Libra? Hold on a minute. This isn't okay. Queen of Wands. That could be. So we got Queen of King of Wands and Queen of Wands. So we and lovers. So we've got the potential for a relationship and a relationship ish here. Like it's it's going in, but there's something holding it up. What is it? Is it somebody else's relationship? Are there is there more than one person involved here? Because we've got someone reluctant to. There's interest, but we've got someone reluctant to do the things that need to be done to choose one way or the other. And so someone's kind of wanting to buy some time and live in the gray area. And yet there's been some kind of not demand, but like someone has come forward and told them or you how they feel. And yet there's, there's, this is someone that instead of acting on it wants to, I mean, look at it. Think, think, think. I don't, I'm not understanding what's going on here. What's this Queen of Wands about? This Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands. The devil. Okay. Is this an affair? Is this um, really great physical connection and you two have a blast when you're together, but you're someone's side person or they're your side person? Is that what this is? That someone is living in the gray area because they don't want to disrupt their marriage or relationship that they're person person. They don't want to. 
Um, and so they're kind of lollygagging, taking their time, deciding on what to do and thinking, thinking, thinking about the right thing to do, about what to do, about what they want, about what's best for all of this because they like having both. Maybe they feel guilty. They don't want to disrupt, but we got the moon here. Okay. What's this? It's a six of pentacles. So we got judgment here. Six of pentacles and judgment. Is this, okay. Did you call it quits? Because you're like, this isn't, this isn't right. We can't do this. This is karmically incorrect, or this is not, we can't have an affair. It's wrong. It's, you know, not denying the connection, but can't be doing this. Can't be taking part of this. This is not good judgment. This is, I want to make the right decision here. I'm not making a right decision. I'm not doing the good thing. And yet there's, you're still dealing with this person. They're still th either thinking of you, you're still dealing with them. This is somebody that is dragging their feet on making a decision. They almost want you to make the decision for them. They almost want you to stop dealing with them so they can, because they won't. Spoiler alert, as long as you keep this connection open, they'll be there. But downside of that is they're not gonna make a decision either way. They're gonna, they're gonna have you both. So this is someone that likes what they have with you and they also plan on maintaining the other person. So this is not someone that wants to end their their other thing they have going on and they don't want you to end either. Um, it will be it will have to be up to you to end the thing or to do the thing. And yet they won't do what needs to be done to make a decision either. So you're kind of left either hanging out or ending it because they're not going to. This, this thing, this is not going to change unless you make a change. And I'm not saying that as a pep talk. No, this is what's showing up here. You're going to have to be the one to do the, the, the thing, to make the decisions. This person, well, across the board here, this is someone that is in a very sweet spot, being able to kind of think about things or take their time or they're not going to make the decision that needs to be made to get this off the ground or to release you or whatever it is. This is not someone that's going to do it. You're going to have to make the decision. You're going to have to um, end it or, and it feels like you're going to have to, because, and I keep saying have to, because you're not happy. You're waiting. There's waiting involved here. And they're not, you're going to be waiting a long time. They're not going to make a decision. That keeps coming through. They're not going to make a decision. You're going to have to be the one to make whatever decision it is, whether it's reconciliation with them or you leaving them because they won't leave some another situation. Maybe that's why this is on your mind is you're like, I wish they'd do the right thing and be with me because they love me. They're, they don't love the other person. Maybe that's what you're thinking here. Okay, that's why. <laughs> it's not funny. It's just that makes sense because we've got... Um, there's the connection that you two have together feels pretty darn strong. And I think this is one of those things that's like, well, I won't be able to find this connection with someone else or we have something really special or unique. Agreed? Not disputing that. But... That something special and unique has to be backed up by special and unique action. Otherwise, it's just an affair. It's just somebody enjoying something with someone else outside of an, a relationship. Or it's not really something special if they're not willing to act on it in an appropriate way. Do you know what I mean? You can have a physical connection that's off the charts. Not disputing that. But this is someone that's living in both worlds. So they got one foot with their person and one foot with you. And even if they're in separation with their person um, or their job or whatever that other thing is that they're still showing devotion for, even if they're not wanting to be there, not connected, not there, they're still there. And they're still giving their time and resources to maintaining that there. 
So that says a lot more than this special connection. And at the end of the day, where are they? You know what I mean? Are they texting you but still in that house? Are they texting you but still at that job? Are they, you know? And I'm not talking about someone that has to be where they're at, like if they're deployed or they're, um, they're you knew that going in. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about someone that you have something with, but they voluntarily are able, I mean, for all intents and purposes, voluntarily. Um, but they're still going to this place every night or they're still over here every night. And I'm talking to the Libras that are not happy about that. This is someone, and it very well could be that this is reversed, that you're the person going over here every night, but you still text them or your attention's still with them, but you're here out of duty or obligation. It could be reversed. could be I'm talking about you. But for the Libras that I'm reading for, it feels like this you're waiting on someone to make a decision and you're going to be waiting a long time. Nothing, nothing shows as changing here. I know... A little bit, it's not going to change. This is someone that makes that things might be happening, but they're not. They're not budging. Things might be happening around them, but they're not doing anything. They're waiting for other things to happen to them so that they can take the most advantageous route, or that they can say, "Well, I'm going to do this now that everything else, whatever." But they didn't cause that to happen, or did they? Because they didn't do anything to preserve it either. Do you know what I mean? Like I keep looking at this, and it's like. Okay, you might not have caused this, but you're not doing anything to repair it either. You're, but and you're kind of taking advantage of the disruption and the upheaval to do what you want. So for the Libras that I'm reading for, this could be somebody that's very strategic and takes advantage of situations for their own betterment. Nothing wrong with that, except for when it's at other people's expense. I feel like this is someone that's nothing is ever their fault, but they fully capitalize on when things like they, they make the most out of everything. Again, could be a really good thing, but this is someone that's taking advantage of both situations and the, the chaos and the in-betweenness to take, to be able to enjoy you both or to get something out of both connections. What else for Libra? Eight of Swords, Strength. So we got two eights here. Oof. This could be, this could be washing over you. This I could be the harbinger of, you know, saying, telling you like it is here. But this, you're gonna be that. There's something to this realization coming in that you know what this person's not gonna leave their situation to be with me at least for the foreseeable future. Um, we got strength here in the moon or we got strength reversed. Same, same. This is instability, someone not doing the right thing, not acting honorably. And we've got, oh, this is seven of swords, not eight of swords, seven of swords. So this, this is someone being sneaky, deceptive, not doing the right thing, not being honorable or charitable. If you're involved in an affair with somebody and they've made promises, they're not going to keep them. Just saying. But some of you might know the, the writing on the wall and be like, I got to get out of here. This is not, I got to do the right thing. I got to rise up here. This could be you waiting for them to do the right thing, which you think means be with you. But this, and the, I could see the reason why you think that is because you have an incredible connection with this person. You just, you feel something, but either they don't feel it or they're taking it for granted or they're just happy where they're at getting two things. I think, Libra, you might be way more into this than the person is. It's just not up there like it is for you. This is someone that they might even say, you know what, things are really complicated. But do they have to be? If somebody would make the decision and man up and or woman up, cowgirl up, cowboy up, whatever. If somebody would do that, do the thing, things could be simplified. It, it depends on like what you want and i feel like this person doesn't want it as much as you do um, because for the libras i'm reading for why did this flip the libras that i'm reading for you're waiting for someone to make you a priority and they aren't interested in upsetting the apple cart if the apple cart gets upset they'll take advantage of that situation but they're not interested in upsetting the apple cart and 
when they take advantage of that situation, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be in the spotlight now, that you're going to be the one they focus on. They might make you wait a little longer. This is just, they're just not in any hurry. This worries me because I think you might be thinking that, well, we have this connection though. We all say that. <laughs> We all have experienced that. Don't um, let this be your deciding factor because this kind of connection can be built also. It doesn't just happen out of the blue. It can also be built. It can also be made over time with someone that's trustworthy, reliable, kind, all that. And you know it says psychic knowing, but it feels like psychic connection. So, but this could also be your intuition kicking in, telling you, you know, this might be the turning point that you need to be able or that you need to make some decisions here. Because the biggest thing that stands out is this is someone that's not gonna make the decisions. They're gonna want you to, or they're gonna take advantage of an already disrupted situation, but they're not gonna make it disrupted. They're not gonna. Okay, all right. That's the biggest thing is this is someone that just doesn't wanna have to do the thing. They don't, this is someone that doesn't wanna have to step up. So it's not that they're hung up on something so much as that they just don't want to have to step up. It's not that I'm not calling them bad. It's just, it's not a priority for them. All right. I hope this was helpful, Libra. I'm sorry it wasn't better news. Um, hope to see you in the next reading. Love and support to you. And you take care. Thank you for stopping by.